Article 15. To see if the town will vote to transfer from Russell School Stabilization Account $100,124 to cover the cost to repair and renovate municipal buildings and associated design and engineering or take any action thereto. Capital Planning recommends this 3-0. Select Board recommends this 4-0. Finance Committee re recommends it 4-0. And I'm sure the Municipal Building Committee recommends this article also. The motion reads, move that the town transfer from the Russell School Stabilization Account $100,124 to repair and renovate the Russell School Building and Associated Facilities. Do I have a motion? Second. Discussion. Um, Dave Waskevitz from the Municipal Building Committee. Yes, hi. I'm Dave Waskevitz, Municipal Buildings Committee. Um, this article is to transfer existing funds that are in an account for Russell School, which was earmarked to Russell School use only. And we would like to transfer it to a new account, which we could use for other town buildings. Uh, it would be used for about 41000 in critical needs that we've already established. And the additional money would be used for um, unanticipated items at this time. Um, one of those would be an extension of our consultant expenses, which at this time we don't have any firm numbers yet, but we would at least have that available. Um, this would also be passed by the select board and get their approval before we would spend the funds. So it just gives us an easier way of getting to them without having to go through a long process because um, the number of these projects are rather small under the 41,000. We're talking about um, putting safety catwalks in mechanical um, to, to access mechanical equipment in the public safety building. We're talking about replacing the sally port doors uh, with insulated doors at the public safety building, um, repointing um, block walls at the DPW, and there's about seven small type projects like this that we'd like to spend it on, but there could be more as we evaluate the buildings. Clarify the motion in just one second, please. I have a clarification on the motion. The motion should read, move that the town transfer from the Russell School Stabilization Account $100,124 to repair and renovate the town buildings and associated facilities. So in the motion, we're taking out Russell School and we're putting it into all, potentially all town buildings. So do we have to remove that? Do I have a motion? Second. Second. There we go. Mr. Devine. Uh, just to let everybody know, as David said, this money is going to be repurposed, but the money to mothball Russell School and to uh, alarm Russell School and to heat Russell School, or keep it at a minimal heat this year, has been uh, set aside and is not part of this money that, that we're talking about here. Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. So why, uh, the obvious question is, why not use this money to fix Russell School? Well, I believe, I believe they can speak to it, but currently they're doing a seismic study on Russell School, is that correct? So they don't have uh, a clear plan for that building until they get that study back, and they think it's a better use of the dollars to turn around and address some of the critical needs in some of the other buildings rather than hold that money in, a, in an account for Russell School uh, at this current time. Is that correct? That is correct. This way, at least we can move forward on doing the repairs in some of these other town buildings without having to come back to town meeting next spring again with small projects that we could get done over the winter or have ready to go by early spring. Um, at some point in time, we will have a plan for Russell School, in which case we'll be able to move forward on that. But it, it may be a couple of years before we're ready to do that. Uh, Andy Morris, Friedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. Two questions about the Russell School Stabilization Account. Mm -hmm. How much money is in there currently, and where did that money come from? The money came from proceeds from when North Star was renting the building. 
all the rent we collected never went into the general fund we kept it separate and it was earmarked for that building so anytime we had a repair or electrical costs heating costs that was all paid for out of that account that never came to the general fund and what was the balance David the balance in that account is $100,124, so this would take 100% of that fund and make it available for the Municipal Building Committee. Any other questions? All in favor of Article 15, please signify with your green card. Everyone that's opposed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's one, one twelve to nine again. That's the number. That's your lottery number tomorrow, folks. One twelve to nine. Article passes. Article sixteen to see if the town will vote to appropriate $1,650 from the Community Preservation Act historic set aside funds for the preservation and rehabilitation of the historic Goodwin Memorial Library, specifically to fund a brick walkway. Such funds to be granted to the trustees of the Goodwin Memorial Library pursuant to a grant agreement entered into with the select board or take any action thereto. Community Preservation Act recommends six yes, zero no's, zero abs um, three abstentions, no. absences, excuse me. Fi uh, Finance Committee recommends four zero, select board three zero, one abstention. The motion reads, move that the town appropriate $1,650 from the Community Preservation Act historic set aside funds for the preservation and or rehabilitation of the historic Goodwin Memorial Library, specifically to fund a brick walkway, such funds to be granted to the trustees of the Goodwin Memorial Library pursuant to a grant agreement entered into with the select board. Do I have a motion? Second. Article's been, motion's been moved and seconded. And Ms. Karen Purley. Um, hi, Karen Purley, 31 Hockenham Road, um, library trustee. Um, the brick walkway that leads up to the library entrance on the Middle Street side, as well as the Russell Street side, are in need of completion. Um, when the uh, stairs were repaired and new railings um, were put in, uh, brickwork was taken away and um, some of it had been de deteriorated for some time, and we would like to um, thank the CPA for letting us put this forward. Um, the restoration of this uh, brick walkway will enhance the appearance as well as the safety um, of this historic building. So the library's are, uh, trustees are here tonight to ask for a vote to appropriate the $1,650 from the CPA historic set aside uh, to restore this uh, walkway and we'd like this project to move forward. Thank you. Thank you, and if anybody's wondering, um, as far as the CPA funds, we put $30,000 a year aside for historic preservation in this town, and their current balance in that historic preservation account is $83,934. So there's su significant, sufficient funds. Anyone else? All in favor, signify with your green card. Any opposed? One. That's 111 to 1. Article passes.